Hello everyone and welcome back to Saiyan Squabbles. I am your Shirley Papa Ping Pong here once again to bring you another video looking at the Unison Warrior series. This time we're looking at yellow. So I hope everyone's doing okay and uh, be staying safe during these trying times and uh, just gonna kind of skip over the formalities and get right into this because I don't want these to be too long as I've said before. Uh, so first off, we're going to be looking at the yellow. So this is the last color before multicolor. So still waiting on the rest of those reveals. But anyway, our leader here is Gotenks. So auto, when this card attacks, add up to one card from your life to your hand, then draw one card. So the life, the taking the life is not mandatory. So you could just draw one card in a more aggro matchup. And then auto once per turn, if your opponent has one or more energy, when your opponent activates an extra card, draw one card. Very interesting that they specify one or more energy. Normally they do that when they're foreshadowing something or like planning ahead for maybe another archetype in the future that we don't know about. But then Awaken, you restand two and flip them over. Then we got Super Saiyan Gotenks Display of Mastery. Uh, 15k, auto, when this card attacks, draw one card. Auto, once per turn, when your opponent activates an extra card, draw one card, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and switch it to rest mode. Auto, once per turn, when you activate Union Fusion, this card gets plus 5k power and critical. So this guy's going to be really good. He's very generic, uh, so very accessible for a lot of archetypes. Um, Cross Worlds did a pretty good video about this guy, talking about how he's probably going to be the leader to replace Surge Q coming up, and I agree with him quite a bit, because this guy reminds me quite a bit of Broly, with a little less uh, aggro and a little more control. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm actually really excited for this leader. I don't think there's a bad leader this set, to be honest. But anyways, moving on, our next leader... We got Sin Shenron, our first actual Shadow Dragon leader. I am so excited to talk about this guy. So, Otto, when this card attacks, look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose one, sh uh, add up to one Shadow Dragon among them to your hand, then shuffle your deck. At the end of your turn, choose up to one of your yellow Shadow Dragon cards in your battle area and switch to active mode. Very interesting. This kind of reminds me of the yellow Frieza from set one, except even better. So, he's an inherent searcher because there's not a lot of, unfortunately, there's not a lot of Shadow Dragon uh, support this set but I'm sure there's going to be more coming as the uni Unison Warrior block expands. But Awaken, when your life is at 3 or less, or you have a yellow Unison card with a specified cost of 4 in play, you may draw 2 cards, restand 1, and flip this card over. So we got Sin Shenron Negative Energy Overflow. So 15k, auto, when this card attacks, draw 1 card. Auto at the end of your turn, choose all your yellow Shadow Dragon cards in your battle area and switch them to active mode. Active main for 6 yellow, specified yellow. Play up to 7 Shadow Dragon cards with different card names from your drop area. So they're definitely coming out with more Shadow Dragons. They were going to do it anyway, but this is basically confirming it. But this is not Omega Shenron, so we still don't have an Omega Shenron leader yet. Or, as a matter of fact, I don't think we have an Omega Shenron card. I believe the Unison for Red is also a Sin Shenron. But it's kind of hard to say how good this leader is going to be, but I think he's already good with the Shadow Dragons we have. The fact that he can restand all of them, it's kind of like a uh, what, what's Planet Vegeta for apes. And then for a 6, just to play up to 7 Shadow Dragons, that's insane. So, let's get into the cards now. So, we, our first Unison, we got Super Saiyan Broly Legendary Unison. Uh, for He's 2 specified yellow and 15k. For plus 0, it's active main, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, and switch it to rest mode. Uh, that, that's good <laughs> for plus 0. And then minus 1, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, that energy cost of 5 or less, in rest mode, and KO it. Uh, pretty generic. I don't think... This guy is going to really be seeing plagues. There's so many things that do the same thing. Uh, the plus zero effect, I honestly think, is better than the minus one effect. But, uh, yeah. Moving on, we got Super Saiyan Gogeta Dynamic Unison. I'm actually really excited for this one. So, two specified cost, 15k, permanent. If all your energy is in rest mode, your leader, your mono yellow leader gets plus 5k power during your opponent's turn. So, it's basically a sense of being during your opponent's turn if you're tapped out. This could help out the turn you play him if you play him turn two. Or uh, late game if, you know, you're responding to all your opponent's plays. Auto once per turn when your opponent activates an extra card, add a marker to this card. That's great. Um, active main plus one. You may choose two yellow cards in your hand. Discard them. If you do, draw two cards. Active main for minus four. During your opponent's next charge phase, your opponent can only switch up to two energy to active mode. The fact that this can cycle uh, for mono yellow leaders is really good. And to be fair, you don't need to run this in mono yellow. It's just obviously you get the most out of it. But you could run this in red, uh, or, you know, green, blue, and still get these very, very powerful effects, especially if you're running multicolor. 
Um, and this is very oppressive, uh, these, this restanding two effect, especially because that might not take too long to do, especially if your opponent's not hesitant to use extra cards. But anyways, very good. Mechi Kabura, plotting revival. So I'm, I know a lot about the hero's lore. This guy is interesting. I, I, I'm curious why they made him yellow, considering he's related to the demon realm and stuff like that. But, uh, and this is, and he makes his arrival in a unison card. It's kind of weird, but I guess it's kind of like, um, it's not the first time they've done something like this. I'm totally drawing a blank, but, but kind of like absolute, um, the negative energy overflow dragon balls or foreshadowing shadow dragons and only two sets, and t not only, but two sets later is when we're actually getting shadow dragons. But, uh, anyways, so four specify cost 15k, interesting. He's a blocker, auto once per turn, this card loses a marker due to its opponent's attack, choose up to one of your opponent's cards and switch it to rest mode. Uh, very interesting, because it can, uh, of course, absorb the blow. So it's kind of like a double block, in a way. Uh, and then plus one, active main, draw one card, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode, ignoring barrier, and that card can't be switched to active mode until the start of your opponent's next, or until the end of your opponent's next turn. Sorry. Uh, that's, I mean, that's pretty good. Um... It has to be in rest mode, but you're, at least you're plussing off of it, so regardless, you're still getting something off of it. And this could, of course, deal with like a boss monster or a secret rare if you survive the turn a secret rare is played or something like that. Uh, active main for minus four, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, gain control of it, and switch it to active mode. That's just stupid. <laughs> I love it. It's so good. Um, just full on gaining control of something. Especially with this effect, to be able to switch it to rest mode, maybe the turn prior, and then the turn after that, bam. Um, but very good. Then we got Sun Goku, Absolute Annihilation, a controversial card that I think is okay. Deflect Barrier Unique. Um, theory drop 20k, if your lead card is yellow, your opponent can't activate, activate extra cards unless they switch one of their energy to rest mode. So, of course, you'd have to switch the energy to rest mode first. You cannot uh, play something, and then if you're tapped out, not to worry about it. Um, you can only have one in your battle area, but a lot of people are freaking out because Deflect Barrier, Deflect Barrier used to be a big deal. It's still very powerful, but it's not nearly as powerful as it used to be. There's so much barrier hate now, but that extra card effect is still very powerful, uh, but at least it is leader locked. Uh, very good card, especially with the new multicolor, which we'll get into next time, but he may be able to cheat this guy out pretty easily. Then we got Technique Chain Sun Goku. So he's a 3-drop, 15k, unique, active main for 1 yellow. If your lead card is a yellow Saiyan card and your opponent has 3 more energy, play this card from your hand. Cool, cheating out stuff is always good. Active main for 2 yellow energy, play up to 1 Sun Goku, absolute annihilation from your deck. On top of this card in active mode, then shuffle your deck. Uh, I don't remember what that card is off the top of my head, so we're going to need to check it. But that's still, uh, <coughs> excuse me. That's still really good. Uh, just even a one drop 15k beater is still good. Um, and it's a Sun Goku and a Saiyan target, so you know. Or Sun Goku GT and Saiyan target, so it's pretty easy to find. Then we have one drop Sun Goku Adventure into the Unknown. Auto. Add one card from your life to your hand. When this card attacks, it gets plus 10k power and critical for the turn. Cool. Another Krillin, but it's a Sun Goku GT, so it's an easier find. I think this is just going to power creep Krillin, to be honest. But then we got Counter Blast Sun Gohan. A one drop super combo. Auto, if your lead card is yellow and your life is at 4 or less, when this card is used in a combo, choose 1. Uh, draw 1 card, or during your turn, if your opponent has 5 or more cards on in rest mode, choose a 20 of your opponent's battle cards that energy cost of 5 or less in rest mode and KO it. Auto, when this card is played, choose a 20 of your opponent's battle cards and switch it to rest mode. Very cool. Um, I think that all these super combos are going to be seeing some form of meta play. Uh, standard super combos, I think, are just kind of... You know, uh, old news. I think multicolor super combos and these super combos are going to be the way to go now. But, uh, yeah, moving on. So we got Sun Goten, a Flash of Brilliance, 3 drop 15k. Active main, if your leader card is a yellow Gotenks, Adolescence, which of course the one we saw was. Card, and choose one yellow card in your hand, discard it. Add this card from your drop area to your hand. You can activate the ma active main skill and copies of this card for the turn. So basically a once per turn effect. Um, to re uh, to recover this card. It's kind of stupid. You can do Saiyan and Sing Sun Goku, place him in your drop area, get this card from your hand. But luckily, it's only once per turn. And uh, he's a pretty good union target. So, And of course, Saiyan Earthling, etc. But uh, I'm pretty excited. We got Sun Goten the Eager. So I like how this art is reminiscent of the uh, 
well, it's the Gogeta BR fusion cards, I believe, from set six. Um, but yeah, anyway, so we got Sun Goten and the Eager, uh, two drop 15k, active main. If your leader card is a yellow, go tanks out a lessons card, and you just card this card from your hand, add up to one yellow, trunks GT card, 15k power, and an energy cost of three from your deck to your hand, then shuffle your deck. So, very cool. This is a, uh, basically a free searcher if you're missing the other half of the puzzle. So, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Just basically able to fetch anything. That's, that's the consistency we kind of need with Union deck, so I have no issue with it. Then we got Pan the Earnest, uh, one drop 5k. When this card is played, look at five cards from top of your deck, add up to two yellow Sun, Goku, Sun Goten GT, Trunks GT, and or Gotenks Adolescence card among them to your hand, then shuffle your deck, then choose one card in your hand, discard it if you added two cards to your hand. Uh, that's just super good. Anything can search two cards, even if you did discard one, uh, if you had to discard this guy, great news, you can get him back. Um, great card. Then we have one drop 10k pan. Uh, I, I like that art, I don't know why. And then we got our first SS Vegeta that is not in SCR. <laughs> so we got Vegeta, Prideful Transformation, three drop 14k. So he cannot be Union, but we don't have a GT fusion yet, so I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> Uh, so, 3 drop 14k blocker, counterplay. You can't activate the counterplay skills of other cards for the duration of the turn. The battle card plays, played in rest mode, then play this card. Permanent, if you have a yellow using card with two or more markers in play, you can activate this card's counter skill from your hand without paying its energy cost. That's cool. You get to rest something, play it, and then it becomes a blocker and a threat for unawakened leaders, so that's pretty nice. Then we got Vegeta, Earthbound Pride. 2 drop super combo, it's standard super combo for a less draw one. Uh, one drop Vegeta the Impregnable. Uh, auto, when this card is played, look at the top five cards of your deck, add it to one yellow unison card, specific cost of two or one yellow Saiyan card with energy cost of three or less among them to your hand, then shuffle your deck. So, you know, just the unison searcher. So, three drop, uh, we got Trunks Flash of Brilliance. Three drop 15k, and this is the exact same as the uh, Goten we saw earlier, it's just for himself. So, and the same with this one Trunks the Eager. Uh, two drop 15k, and he allows you to search for a Sun Go 10 GT with 15k power, and energy cost of three. Then we got Go Tanks going all out. Seven drop, uh, four specified, and 25k. Double strike, dual attack, Union Fusion for three yellow. Draw two cards and Sun Go 10 GT and uh, yellow Sun Go 10 GT and yellow Trunks. Excuse me, Trunks GT. Uh, auto when this card is played, choose one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode, ignoring barrier, negate its skills for the turn, then KO it. This is very powerful, and the reason why I think this is very powerful it's a, it, is that it's a very generic yellow boss monster, which I think yellow has been needing desperately. Double strike, dual attack, that's pretty insane. You get to pop something and draw two cards, which means you replace the fusion materials, and this is for three energy, which is pretty insane. The only restraint, uh, the only restriction, actually there is no restriction, you just need, need to play yellow. Uh, you know, to capitalize on these cards, you might need something better, but... Uh, just a yellow leader. I'm, I'm really digging this card. But anyways, then we got Gotenks, Overwhelming Might. Four drop, 20k, so eh, you know how I feel about that. Critical, Union Fusion for two yellow. Uh, same targets, auto. When this card is played, choose a toward your opponent's battle cards and negate skills for the turn and draw one card. Cool. Uh, so he, you replace, get to place, replace one of them. Cool. And then active main places the card at the bottom of its owner's deck and you get to add the Goten and Trunks or add it to one yellow Sun Goten and one yellow Trunks GT and add to your hand from your drop area. So that's pretty, that's pretty insane. Uh, you get to plus three from this guy basically if he makes it to the board and he's a critical. So very, very powerful I think. I'm really liking it. I am, if I build a Gotenks deck, it's gonna be themed around Gotenks. So I'm, I'm looking at these. Another four drop 20K. Again, you know how I feel about that. <laughs> Gotenks the power of fusion. Double Strike, two specified yellow, and auto. When this card is played, just hit one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode, KO it, and draw one card. So this is the exact same, because Active Main is the exact same as the other one. The only difference is this one is Double Strike, and this one it's critical, but this one allows you to negate the skills, right? Choose a one of your opponent's battle cards, negate skills, and draw one. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode, KO it, and draw one card. Um, oh, so this one doesn't KO, but this one does. So this one KOs, this switch, this uh, negates skills, but they both draw one. This one's double strike, and this one's critical. So at least they give you plenty of options. 
Uh, then we got Bulma, Devoted Supporter, 1 drop, 1k counterplay, for the card is mono yellow, and you have a yellow, so yellow unison card in play, the battle card being played as energy cost of 2 or less, and has the skills in K for the turn before being negated for the turn before being played, then play this card. I don't know why that, that wording seems so clunky, but still good. This is still a great card, I think, especially for the for this archetype uh, for Bulma GT, because I believe Bulma GT is searchable, but maybe not actually, but I think it's pretty good. So we got one drop, Giru, Dragon Ball, Discover, Auto. When this card is played, like the top five cards of your deck, add it to one unison card with specified cost of four, or one yellow battle card with an energy cost of one among them and add them to your hand. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> that's another, just another searcher. So a nine drop, Sin, Shenron, Destruction, Incarnate. Uh, yeah, nine drop, 30k, Blocker, Revenge. X Evolve for one yellow for a Sin, Shenron with an energy cost of four. Auto, when your opponent plays a battle card, you may choose that battle card, ignoring barrier, and negate its skills for the turn. And this is not... Oh, once per turn. <laughs> so, this guy gets on the board. You can negate your opponent's entire field. That is... Wow. Okay. That, that is really good. You gotta realize, I skimmed over these before. <laughs> this is my first time actually, like, sitting down and thinking about them. Uh, auto, when this card is removed from your battle area by an opponent's skill or KO, draw two cards and play up to one negative energy one-star ball from your drop area. Uh, sweet. So if he blocks, you get to draw two and play something. So when, he's, when you block and kill something, and he's KO'd, you neg them one and plus three. Wow. Okay. This is this is an insane card, actually. Especially because he can be played with the leader effect. But anyway, then we got Sin Shenron, Dragon, uh, Shadow Dragon Leader. Four drop, 19k. Blocker, when this card is removed from your battle area by an opponent's skill, draw one card, then play up to one negative energy, one star ball from your drop area. Auto, when this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's leader cards in rest mode or battle cards that energy cost a 4 or less in rest mode, and it can't attack until the end of your opponent's next turn. Cool, so you get to lock your opponent for a turn. Uh, I believe you get to cheat this guy out too. But, um, Haste Shenron, 4 drop, 20k. Again, <laughs> double strike, X evolve for a Haste Shenron with energy cost of 3, which it's free, so that's nice. Auto, when a card evolves into this card, switch this card to active mode, you can't play copies of this card for the turn. Auto, if your leader card is a Shadow Dragon card, and you choose one Shadow Dragon card in your hand and discard it, when this card attacks or is used in a combo, choose one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode with an energy cost greater than their current energy and KO it. Man, these card techs are getting pretty insane. <laughs> There's a lot to read. Uh, I'm glad they're trying to shorten the text, but that, that that's just good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Because um, it's, yeah. So you discard something, and then it's when he attacks or is using a combo. So uh, uh, it's nice that you have a little bit of variety. But then you have a three drop, Hey Shenron, the Poison Mancer. That's interesting. Uh, three drop, Critical, when this card is played, add to one Shadow Dragon with energy cost of four or less from your drop area to your hand. Cool. Uh, one negative energy, one star ball. It's a one energy, one power. This card can attack and isn't affected by your opponent's skills. Cool. Uh, so it's, there's a lot of active mode attacking coming, so that's, this guy is still vulnerable, especially, uh, counterplays. So, active main for one yellow, if your leader card is a shadow dragon card, and you place the card in its owner's drop area, choose up to one Sin Shenron card with energy cost between two and four, uh, in your deck, in, or hand, play it, then shuffle your deck if you look through it. Interesting. So you get this guy out turn two, basically, I believe. Sweet. Um... Then we have negative energy two star ball, um, and it's the exact same. The only difference is that it finds this guy, or yeah, it finds that guy. So, anyways, moving on. All right, we got dark dragon slaying bullet. Jeez Louise, that's a lot. Uh, two two yellow. That's pretty edgy. Uh, two yellow counterplay. If you have a yellow unison card in play, if the battle card being played is energy cost four or less, it has skills engaged for the turn and is played in rest mode. That's actually pretty good for a two drop counterplay that has this effect. If all your energy is mono yellow, you can activate this card's counter skill from your hand without paying its energy cost by choosing two other cards from your hand and discarding them. That I like for this archetype because it seems you're gonna be interacting with the drop area a lot and bringing stuff back, so that's pretty good. Then we got Burning Kamehameha. If your other card is yellow and you have a yellow unison card in play, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by one. Active main, if your opponent has four more energy in rest mode, choose one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode and KO it. That's fine, I, think, I don't think it's very impressive then release from evil. We got one drop, counter attack. If your leader card is mono yellow, choose the attacking card. 
Ignoring Barrier, negate its skills for the turn, and it can't be switched to active mode until the start of your next turn. Cool. And if you have Yellow Unison card in play, you can activate this card's counter skill from your hand without paying its energy cost. That, uh, so it doesn't negate the attack. I like that they're adding a bunch of stuff that doesn't negate the attack, but rather interacts in other ways. And I'm really hoping this gets an SBR variant. <laughs> uh, good card. And then we got Two Star Ball, Parasitic Darkness. So it's zero, permanent. This card gains Dark Dragon Balls in our, all areas. Dark Dragon Ball in all areas, sorry. Active Battle, choose one of your cards and it gets plus 5k power for the battle. Active Main, choose one of your cell cards that energy costs a 7 or 9 and place it under place this card under it. Choose up to one green cell Zeno card that energy costs a 9 in your deck or hand. Play it, then shuffle your deck if you look through it. That has synergy with the cell that was revealed, which we'll get into next time. But that's going to be it. This video, again, was a little longer than I wanted it to be. I am recording these back to back, so I'm sorry if I'm uh, stuttering and going a little slower than I wanted to be. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you are staying safe and all of you have a great rest of your day. See ya.